guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are doing another Birch Box versus Ipsy. And I love these videos. I hope you guys love these videos. I especially love them because it's like a little treat yourself. And it's pretty much the only way I get high-end makeup because I'm typically too cheap to buy myself um, any kind of high-end makeup. So anyways, I hope you guys like watching us get like a to ourselves present every month. I say ourselves because typically my, my sister Mariah is here. So if this is your first time being on our channel, you're probably like, what is she talking about? She's a crazy person. I'm a little crazy, but usually I'm not by myself. So anyways, I cannot ever get these birch boxes open. Like impossible. Ooh, the box is different. Okay, I guess we'll, since I've got that open, we'll just go ahead and get the birch box. Look at this. It's like an actual plastic box. Wow. Okay, I'm impressed with that. Because that's something that you can actually use instead of... Well, I mean, I guess you could use the cardboard ones. You totally could. But this just seems more aesthetically pleasing for, like, storage, you know? Anyways. This is card got the cellophane, very pretty cellophane. Whoop. <laughs> I'm finding use for that. So pretty. All right, so let's see. First thing we've got is a eyebrow pencil. It is a Marcel eyebrow liner in medium brown. It's got a little spoolie on the end. I'm excited to try this. I actually don't have much eyebrow stuff in. I might try it and see. Okay, so it is a little tiny thin retractable. Kind of reminds me of the Precisely My Brow. And let's see. Yeah, that's nice. It might be a little too red for my eyebrows. My eyebrows are a little bit more on the grayish side. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, yeah, it's a little redder than what I go for. Mm, okay, so probably not my best shade, but I think I could get by with using it. I like how precise and tiny the little tip is. We have from Beauty Protector a Protect and Volume Spray for your hair. I received a, whoop, a detangler out of this product and it smelled delicious and worked really, really well. So I'm excited to try this as well. Next, we have a Lies Waiter is the brand, I think. It's called Magnifix. Makeup fixative with white tea. After makeup, hold spray 30 centimeters from face and apply. So that like a setting spray, I think. I've never heard of it called a fixative, but. It smells like hairspray. So we'll try that. Then we have from Dr. Botanicals. Oh, I didn't show you this one. This is what it looked like. And then from Dr. Botanical Botanicals, we have a PO mask. It is a superfood regenerating sleep mask. Use two to three times a week. Apply a thin layer onto clean, dry skin in the evening. Allow the mask to sink into skin and leave overnight. Cleanse as normal the following morning. My skin really needs that. I'm not usually like super dry, but the last like couple weeks, the winter's really been uh, kicking my skin's butt. And I've had to deal with a lot more dryness than I typically do. So I'll probably put that to use. And then we have a R & Company R & Co Waterfall Moisture Shine Lotion. Lotion Hydration Plus Brilliance. Is it just a hand lotion? Oh, it's a hair lotion. Interesting. Apply to wet hair and blow dry or let dry naturally. Cool. Mm, that smells good. Okay, so that is it for Birchbox. Cute. I feel easily impressed by that. Uh, anyways, so next up is Ipsy. Let us see what's in there. Dun, 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 dun. It's also see-through. And there's a brush on the inside of the package. It is... I'll have to look at the paper to see what the brand is because it's in cursive and I can't really tell what it says. Not that I don't know how to read cursive. I definitely know how to read cursive, but it's so small and I don't want to 
miss say what the brand is super soft though it'll make like a good highlight br blush brush it'll make a good highlight brush or a blush brush very cute all purple and shiny and glittery okay then we have the bag it's like it just looks plasticky but it feels soft so first thing i have out of there is the brand cake and it is heavy cream totally to die for intensely smoothing body butter balm rich vanilla shea butter deeply deeply moisturizing that sounds right up my alley i love anything vanilla like a little tabby over it that's a good thing mm, 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 mm. like vanilla cream is the best vanilla cream is just the best scent like anything vanilla vanilla icing flavored or scented yes please i wanted to see if it left like greasy it is a little bit kind of but I'm not super picky about that. I know some people are, but it definitely doesn't like dry down clean without feeling a little bit greasy. It's got that kind of slip to it. Then uh, we have an item from the brand Item. It is the Air Hug Concealer. Smoothing medium to full coverage. Let's hope they got a good shade for me. Oh, it's so cute. I love the packaging. I just made it that looks super dark yeah I don't think that's gonna be a concealer for me mm. I don't know it looks a little dark but a couple birch boxes versus ipsies ago uh, I did get a concealer from what was that Tarte and I thought it looked too dark and then I used it and it was like the perfect shade. So maybe it's just the lighting up here or something. I mean, it looks like it blended in well on my hand. But we shall see. Next we have from Catrice Cosmetics, a single highlighter in the shade Lumi. I think I get a highlighter every single time from one or the other, either Birchbox or Ipsy. Do you guys go through that many highlighters? I don't go through that many. <laughs> That's a lot. This is, I don't know, this seems more like an eyeshadow. It definitely has like a pinky hue to it. It's pretty though. Mm, maybe it could go as a highlighter. Let's just test her out. Very dusty. <laughs> Okay, there it is. I'd probably be more likely to use it as an eyeshadow in front of the package. And the last thing from Ipsy is a high gloss lacquer or a lacquer. The <laughs> shade Kahlo, I think. It's from Ola Neon. Let's see if I can get it open. Take off my lip gloss and see if we like it. Just like a typical. I like the shade. It's definitely a very thick gloss. Feels like there's a lot of stuff on my lips. Maybe I just applied it too heavily. I don't know, but I really like the color. So maybe I would just go a little more light handed with it. Or I actually have a liquid lip that's really similar to this color. It has a matte finish and this I think would be a good topper for that. So I might use it that way. All right, so that is it. And so in conclusion, I think there are let's see how many from ipsy that i like say these three 
because the concealer isn't really my shade and then the highlighter is not really a shade that I would typically go for for a highlighter. So three for Ipsy and then let's see. The setting spray, definitely we'll use that and try it out. Um, the protect and volume spray for hair, I will definitely try that out. This, um, yes. I was gonna say the detangler in this brand smelled so delicious. That was just going everywhere. And this has the same smell or a really similar smell. Mm, I love that. The overnight pomegranate mask, excited about that because my skin needs revived from this winter weather. And the moisture and shine lotion for hair. I will always use stuff like that because I'm constantly running out of those types of products in my hair and so doesn't want their hair to be shiny. Yes, I'm gonna use it. And then the um, eyebrow pencil is not really the right shade for my eyebrows, so it probably won't get much use out of that. But I like the size of the retractable pencil and I like that it's retractable, not like the sharpened kind. And so maybe I just need to find my shade in this brand. Is the brand Marcel, by the way. Anyway, so I'm gonna count that one out because it's not really the right shade. So that gives us four products from Birchbox and a cool little plastic or acrylic reusable box that would pretty much match anybody's decor or anybody's style. So I think that's a plus. So is it fair to give them points for the box? I'm excited about the box if you can't tell. <laughs> um, all right, so, so just going by products, there were four products from the Birch Box that I'm excited to use or I know that I will use the product fully uh, unless it just goes awry, but I guess Birch Box is the winner this month. Let's see what the brand is on this brush. Oh, SL. That's why I couldn't figure it out because I was wanting it to like make sense and be an actual word. It's SL Miss Glam and it is the P30, and it is an angled blusher brush. So it's meant for blush, but it would also work for highlight. Do you guys like hearing like the prices of the full size of these items or not? If you do, leave it in a comment below and we'll mention it in these future Birchbox versus Ipsy videos. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and we also post videos on Mondays and Wednesdays. Monday videos are women's Bible study videos and then Wednesday videos. We are going through a book called Anxious for Nothing by John MacArthur and if you have anxiety I would highly recommend um, checking out those videos or maybe investing in that book because it has been pretty helpful for me and also for Mariah and I think that there is a lot of stuff in there that could also be helpful to you. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I hope to see you guys in our next video. Bye!